Hello and welcome to Gabe's Games. Let's get into Weishaupt and launching one of the final missions in Dragon Age the Belgar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I am ready now at last to do that mission. I don't think it is the final mission in this game, but it's definitely a mission which feels like endgame material. So let's go have a chat with Solus. I've upgraded what I can. I'm as ready as I can. I could spend a lot more time doing side quests and missions, I just don't want to. So let's talk to Solus. How fares your battle? The gods are moving against Weishaupt and the Grey Wardens. We've heard rumors the Darkspawn are being led by an Archdemon. It's true. And you have questions. I need to know how Archdemons relate to the gods. Are they just like the blighted dragons, or are they something else? I also need to know how to deal with the gods if they show up at Weishaupt. I propose a bargain. I will answer your question. If you answer mine. This is not the time for that, Solus, but that's how you operate. Who are the Grey Wardens? Do they understand the truth of the danger yet? I don't need to question that. I'm basically going to say some of them do. And obviously saying the leader is an idiot. Now, some of them do. I've gotten a few of them to come around. You're a Grey Warden yourself. Surely you have friends within the Order you might call upon. I do. And I have. We've recruited another Warden named Davrin. But the Grey Wardens as a whole still do not trust you yet, as I feared. We're making progress. When I asked you why you should be trusted to lead the fight, you said you were no stranger to fighting stronger opponents. Mm. That sufficed for me. But the Grey Wardens fight Darkspawn and Archdemons, foes no one else can stand against. They see themselves as the best prepared for this battle. You cannot defeat Elganan and Gilanane without the Wardens. What will you do to bring them to your side? It's about the first Warden. I don't have to convince all of them. I just have to convince the first Warden. Or remove him. Enjoyable as that is to imagine, I doubt the rest of the Wardens would approve. Did you know the Evanurus once numbered many more than those whose names survived in the Elven Pantheon? One warlord was particularly cruel. I sought to free his slaves, but so fearsome was his reputation that none would join me. What did you do? I made people laugh at him. How did that help? For twelve years. Every sound near him, from whispered pleas to shouted oaths to crackling fire, all became mocking laughter. His mind broke under the ridicule, and when he fell, his slaves rose up and joined me. That's pretty cool. I doubt laughter is going to work on the First Warden. If not that, then what? Whatever is necessary. Whatever it takes. Easily said. But it will have to be enough for now. You have answered my question, and I owe you an answer in return. Yes. The old gods of Tevinta, the Archdemons. There never were Tevinta gods. The Archdemons, as you call them, were always merely the weapons of the Evanurus. Okay. All right. Let's hope we can find the gods before they find their weapons. Unfortunately, the Dragon Thrall's life force is bound to the Evanurus' as both power and protection. You will not be able to kill or likely even harm one of the Evanurus until their Dragon Thrall is slain. So the Archdemons are essentially just the dragons. And you can't attack the Evanurus until you kill the dragon. How did to fit, uh, tell me of the dra their dragons? What can you tell me about the Archdemons themselves? Each is different, shaped by the whims and ego of its master. Elganan is the Lord of Tyranny. He would have ruled alone had Nathor not forced him to share power. Those who are strong, he molds into dictators themselves with visions of godhood. Those who are weak, he crushes. His archdemon reflects him. It is huge to feed his ego, the epitome of dragonkind, bent to his will. Okay. 
I'm gonna say that will be his downfall. What about Gillianine and her dragon? Pride and ego can blind someone. We can exploit that. By contrast, Gillianine was a servant of Andrew, whose skill at making monsters earned her promotion to the Evanuris. She is brilliant, ambitious, and unconstrained by anything you would understand as morality. In a kinder world, you would never need to see what she has done to her archdemon. In this world, I only hope you kill it quickly. In any event, the Evanuris will not be vulnerable until their archdemons are dead. Okay, so I gotta kill the archdemons. How did Tevinter gods talk? The old stories of the Tevinter gods have them whispering in the dreams of ancient magisters. How did they do that? If they were just tools of the elven gods? The Archdemons were once High Dragons. The Evanuris bound them as a source of power. Uh, when I imprisoned the gods, their dragons remained free. That was my mistake. How so? I never bound a dragon to myself. For I believed that to enslave another creature was immoral. As such, I did not understand the power that connection gave. I thought the prison I had made was perfect. But their dragons were the conduit through which they spoke to dreaming minds. So it was the gods the whole time. What am I missing? Any other surprises we should know about? Even with their dragons dead, the Evanuris are powerful and well protected. You will need to use my dagger, the one you recovered. It can pierce their enchantments and strike them down. All right. Kill the archdemons, then use the dagger to take down the gods. Even a single opportunity to strike the Evanuris down will be rare, fleeting, and costly. You will not have another chance to catch them unawares. When you strike, you must be fully prepared. Okay. So this changes the entire Dragon Age lore. Like, everything. Alright, though. Here we are. Here's the map go to West Ham. Surely we should be talking with all of the squad now. Come on. Enter West Ham. Well, let's... Let's use the Lighthouse Alluvian. The Siege of West Ham. Surely, is this not? I'm not sure if I can use the lighthouse alluvian, so maybe I shall just use the map. Yeah, I can't use the light lighthouse alluvian that I'm aware of, at least, so let's go. I might as well try, I'm gonna try once see what happens. Travel to track to quest. Devrin is required. And to be honest, hunting is somebody I would like to have with. Everyone suit up. All hands for this one. Still can't believe it. They're attacking Weisshaupt? The Warden's unprepared for that. The gods are going straight for the throat. Unless we cut theirs first. Just get me close enough. Sick. I'm gonna encourage him. Make them pay. Whatever you do, make them pay. I always collect. Who gets to tell the first warden we're dropping in? I was hoping to skip that part. They got an alluvian in storage down in the vault. It was a gift from the Dalish. Ours should go right to it. Probably. I think. Let's get to it then. We sneak into Weishaupt, nice and quiet. No one sees us. We look around for Antoine and Evka. Was there a plan after that? Take out a god. End this today. Alright.
This isn't the vault. Oh, crap. They moved the Alluvian. Adapt. It didn't break. You call that nice and quiet? and quiet? Sorry. Catch up when you can. Shh. Don't spawn outside. Okay, let's go. Dark spot in Weishaupt. Just outside the door. Stay out of sight. Mila. Sit tight, Mila. We'll be back. The maker curse you. Okay, my combinations don't work as well as I want them to. In fact, I thought that the combinations would work, but it's not, so let's just go. Good thing I've credit. Damage against armor doesn't much. They've got the guards at their back. Antoine and Evka? Probably in the war room. I can show you. Alright, mate. Thanks very much. This is not good for Weiss Hatton and Paul. Oh no! The door's blocked! Is there another way? A secret passage! Come on! Oh. Damn. That's Commander Janos. One of our best. Took a dark spawn out with him. Damn. When did the dark spawn attack, Mila? Just a while ago. They started climbing the walls. You should stay here. I can't. I need to find my dad. All right. There's worse than darkspawn on the way. And walls won't hold it back. This is gonna be intense. Get to the 
yeah, it's a wall. I want to see what this siege is like.
sucks, but why? Where are they getting their reinforcements from? Is it this way? See the signal fires through the smoke. Try the horns. The arch demon's too loud. No one's retreating. There's no choice, sir. Yeah. We're under siege. We have to fall back to the dragon trap. Get the trap. back. Send word to Commander Yanos. Rally outside the wall. What are you doing? Yanos is dead. Outside the wall. Look. What are you doing here? Fighting your battle. Trying to save your ass. Yours will rot in the dungeon. Come on! Arrest them. No, you need to listen to them. We are under attack by a god. Do you hear yourself? There's no such thing. Stop finding excuses to be a coward. We'll stop the enemy outside the walls. The enemy is outside the window. Ray Wardens don't hide in our castle. I won't ask good soldiers to turn tail and run. We're an army of steel, holding back the blight. We're not Order holding! every blade out of Weishaupt. We'll all die, sir. Idiot! Idiot! Like silly! Stupid! No! <sighs> okay, now I've actually seen this dialogue option. It feels like it'd be much more satisfying to just knock him out, to be honest. The option of convincing him to change his mind might be something which has an effect later on. If I actually do that, I think that I want to knock him out. I really do. But I feel like this is the dialogue option which has more weight. And then nobody can really question my authority later when I actually take control of the Great Wardens. 
first warden. You're confused. Notice the blood in your ear? It's the calling, isn't it? The Archdemon's messing with your mind while its master mocks you. No one mocks the Wardens. Of course not. You're the only force in Thedas that can stop this. But not if they burn your castle to the ground. Not on my watch. This is your watch. Unless you become the leader who defied a god. They'll know our steel. Better. Oh. Antoine! The dragon trap! What needs to be done? It's ten hundred years old. Never been used. Look, get to the trap. Get it working. Me? You were right. I wasn't. Now go show this guard what mortals are made of. We'll have your back. I'll hold you to that. Come on! I feel like that might have better consequences later on than just knocking him out. All right. This is about to get a lot worse. Are you ready? Have to be. It's us or nobody. All right, let's get to the wall. Last couple of bad guys down. Come on, guys! 
guys again and then I'm gonna get Davran out there and then I'm gonna taunt them and then I'm gonna go get Drop 
through the barracks to get there. Big's being exposed on the walls. Whoa. Oh, 
though it's just the last little bit, I can actually go and kill him.
but so will his friends. His friends will be more pathetic. So I'm gonna go and take down his friends quickly. Until... Whoa! his attack mid-swing. Okay, now we just need one of these nuisances to deal with. Two of them is really 
overkill. That is, that is like, that is absurd. So let's go and focus on the big boy. Take that, the big boy. Once big boy's down, we can chat about other things. Kill me. Dragon trap. The trap will work. <sighs> Take Thank it from you. the blacksmith. You set it off and get out of the way. Dad! Mila! I told you not to get lost. Hope she wasn't too much trouble. This is not the time. I... Not at all. The right kind of trouble. She saved our butts. Anytime. The real problem is getting that dragon to land. Luconis, the dagger. I guarantee this will get Gillinane's attention. And then? She sends the archdemon after me. We trap it, Davron kills it, and Lucanus, you take your shot. Just like that. We have to try. It could work. More likely you'll die trying. If I don't try, a lot more people will die. <coughs> Today, then tomorrow... It won't end. Right. Then let's go. No one's seen the first warden. He sacrificed himself trying we to hold did. off. 
Don't think he made it. I see. Well... The others will rally around his sacrifice. Be ready for it. Come on. I know a way to the trap. All right. Here we are. Not really. Once this is chance. over, there's an old alluvian here that could be our escape. Yeah, it uh, kind of fell out of the building. Oh, well, if I can borrow some of your people, we'll get it right again. Okay, let's go. Put us near the trap. Let's get rid of this blank then. The gameplay in this game is super, but honestly, gameplay wise, you could call this eight out of ten at least. The design of what's happening is really impressive. A warden has to kill it, right? Yeah. And die doing it. Oh, that's right. It's complicated, but every warden is prepared for the sacrifice. I'm ready. I'm a warden too. But you're the warden leading this outfit. People leave you alive. It has to be me that kills it. Maybe they'll hang my portrait in here someday. It's not over yet. Will be soon enough. And that's when Lucanus kills Gillanane? That's why we came here. How? She's up there. And she's enormous. One impossible thing at a time. Guys, why aren't you in the battle? But they're just chilling. The fact that the blight is infected the place that was actually supposed to defeat the blight is bad. Like it's really it's looking pretty bad for the Grey Wardens. The Grey Wardens always were fighting a desperate battle as well. However, our only hope, realistically. Come on! Okay, so up there. Ah, uh, 
in a bowl. And now I die. Hey, Gillanane, come down here and fight. On a hook for me. Yeah, that's fair. Go, go sacrifice Hail yourself, mate. Warden. Oh! <laughs> Let an old man spill the blood today. Please, mate, and make do amends it. For his mistakes. Do it, mate. Okay, for what you have done, we ask the wardens. It's an honor. You do the Grey Wardens proud, sir. Too many wardens have died for that. <coughs> You're the real warden. Come on, do it! Hurry up, it's not dead! First warden, do it now! have a say in war victory in peace vigilance in death sacrifice oh no racing heart ragged breath the waste of useful blood no It's really sucky because 
the one thing that the warden could have done to actually make up for everything was actually go and die. He couldn't even do that right. He died on her terms, so that... The enemy still had the chance to do this, which is just... I'm ready to go again. I 
already survived 26 more seconds until we Tell me that is reinforcements and that is, that is, that is, that is, that is so unfair! Ah, uh, 
If I die now, that would be criminal. And then another one follows suit. Get 
god, I can do this. Dodge now. Dodge now. some damage. My goodness, this fight is actually so difficult, like, in a good way, but I can't remember a boss fight this tough in Dragon Age in a long time. In, in, fa in fact, in any Bioware game, this is probably the toughest fight I've had in a Bioware game.
Don't you dare kill me now! If you do, I am gonna be so mad! Like, because that's just, that's just so unfair. Like, Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. That was nuts. I'll see you next time in Gabe's Games.